cool thing about that game is that it was a game made in 72 hours. I mean, stop to finish, 72 hours, nothing more. Um, how about a little introduction from the guys? Well, we interviewed them, right? Yes, we interviewed them earlier this week. All right, let's, let's look at what's the second video we got. <laughs> the first one's not in there. What's the second video? Nice. All right, so the first question we asked them, because we, we had to interview them earlier, so the first question we asked them was um, that after the 72 hours, did they have a chance to, to tweak the gameplay, improve upon it, or was that 72 hours it? Uh, no, we never tweaked the play control. That was the first build we got from our uh, from the Pro Armor, so that was... Uh, it was just like, we didn't have time really to change anything. If, if we did a, a something, we didn't stick with it. We could change a little bit, but, you know, we, we got it and we said like, oh my God, this is perfect, you know. We had to make it right the first time, yeah. What we had to change was the, the obstacles and speed and yeah, right. all those things we had to do, but the actual controls of, of, the, of uh, tilting the device in order to steer, that, that worked the uh, first time actually, so that was really very lucky for us. Yep, so uh, this game took 72 hours to make, so I wanted to know how long did it actually take to get into the App Store? Well, the fact, that, first of all, the fact that they made it in 72 hours and that they got the controls right on the first time is fantastic. I can't believe, like, as a programmer to be like, I kind of want the ship to do this, and then you build it, and it's like, uh, it actually <laughs> worked the first time we did it. I'm sure that helped get towards the fact that this was only made in 72 hours. To work on anything for 20, for 72 hours, to work on anything for 72 hours is ridiculous. I mean, to go straight through like that, and I think those competitions are really interesting, where they do that with film, they do that with games now. I mean, that's why we saw the story, we heard these guys were out in Venice, we're like, let's hit them up. Let's find out what the hell's going on with this. And I guess it shows you guys, you know, for, you know, the budding game designers out there, it's three dudes, you know? It's not this big thing, and they've got a game on the iPhone store. And it's, it's, a, really, it's a really fun game, and there's, there's all these details to it, but something that kind of struck me was that it's simply in the loading screen, waiting to start the game, I found the music really catchy, and so I wanted to know if, you know, composing that music was part of the 72-hour challenge. That's a guy. Uh, yes, it was, and it took quite a while to do it. Actually, um, we uh, I started with a couple of couple of ideas, and I was and really coke. disappointed in the way it sounded. Uh, but then I guess I was kind of lucky. I found some found some good things, and I really started working on that those simple ideas, and uh, and made the the theme song for the game. And yeah, I think it took about ten hours to finalize that part. It's the cowbell that did it. <laughs> That's actually a fact, guys. If you're ever not sure how to compose music, add cowbell. It's, it's proven. Check Wikipedia. Uh, yeah, well, the game is out right now. It's 99 cents. Um, it's a solid game, and I was wondering, you know, how are they going to improve upon that? Are there going to be any upgrades? Yes, this is the most exciting part for us, and we have, we're going to provide regular free updates for the game, and we have already the community involved in this. They're helping us... Uh, with you know, suggesting features, new features, fixes, and tweaks to make the game just a little better all the time. And so, so for someone like me, the fact that the game is made in 72 hours is really impressive, and so I would want to play the 72-hour version. So I was wondering, how are they going to address the fact that there's going to be upgrades, but what about people who want to play the original version? Uh, well, I think, I think what we're going to do is we're not going to change the beginning of the gameplay. So everything that you play in the beginning is still going to be the same. It's what happens later um, in the game. That's what's going to change, and that's what's going to make it really cool. It's, I like that. It's definitely a great idea. Um, and then if you guys, I wanted to know where you guys could follow them, check out upgrades, what, what are their social networks? Yeah, I think you should um, check out dogtownstudios.com for, uh, for you know, updates. We're going to update it regularly. And um, also our Twitters, Dogtown Studios. And our Facebook fan page, Dogtown Studios. Yeah, um, I downloaded the game immediately. It's 99 cents. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Um, the leaderboards are fun. I definitely enjoyed trying to Dead trying and there on trying to get my name up there. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. There's no Nicole Z up there. What about Brian? Did Brian try? Dude, Brian, I know you if you're competitive. Did you try? Uh, 
you know, I didn't try to get on the leaderboards yet. Um, uh, the game is really fun, uh, and if you try, I, I recommend trying it out. It's super easy to get going, but I, I have an inability to navigate past the black holes. Uh, for some reason, I can't get past their black holes. That's always been a problem with me in space games. It happens. I, uh, there's there's more to the interview. We'll, we'll post a, a slightly longer version of it later. Um, some background on the game. The guy in the spaceship is actually based off the first guy in space. Um, they did take a lot of um, inspiration from the 80s arcade games and classic gaming. And um, there is a, a, a contest going on for the leaderboards. If you reach 1 million miles, you can uh, potentially win $1,000. So make sure to check out their website at is it dogstudios.com. It Dog is. Dogtownstudios.com. Check it out. There's a contest. You can win money for playing in space. A thousand dollars. A thousand people money, not space money. That's a thousand dollars. That's a thousand times more than it costs you to own the game. Think about it. That's math. Well, we better move on. Ed22 is saying some stuff I don't like. Uh oh. We better move on. Thank you guys, Dogtown Studios. That was, it was good for doing an interview with us. We do appreciate it. Check out with them. Check out Project 72. You know you want to. Hey, Nicole. Oh, wow. What's your top seven list about tonight? Tonight.